I'm Lily, and you're watching the Oh My God. Okay, I asked if I could go, but they told me no. It's okay. I think it's probably for insurance purposes. I think she's gonna do okay on her driving test. I thought it was gonna be one of those cars with the two steering wheels. We're a little worried because Malia's gonna be learning how to drive. Well, she knows how to drive, but doing her driver's test for her driver's license. And we're like in a big city right now. We're in Tampa and they're taking her off. Like if you know Tampa, Del Mabry Highway, very busy highway. And that's where she's, I mean, look, these cars are, they're hauling, but look at that. They're all going like 60, 70 miles an hour. I don't know what she's doing. It looks like a three point turn, but. Okay. Is she parking between those phones just now? Yeah. And she did good. Special guest here. Hey yep. guys. Melissa. We even have Mr. Lizard yeah, watching. Going up, Hi, Mr. Oh, they are going? Yeah. Oh, boy, no. I know. I asked if I can go. Did you really? Yeah. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can I go? She did the parking job in those cones right now. She did a good job. Oh, there, she just pulled out. Goes Malia. Hopefully she did a good job on her driving test. You know what? I wonder if you can do a driving test even though you don't need it. How do you think you would do? Um, I think I could pass it. All right, she doesn't look good right now. What happened? <laughs> Guess what? Malia's getting a driver's license. She passed. And everybody's looking at us. We're excited. First time. Whoa, cool. You got an 83% on the. It looks like I got one wrong because it's 40 out of 48, and apparently one point. Like, if you get something wrong, it's 8 points. No, you got off. 8 wrong. Oh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. You are so cute. You are so cute. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness. What? You wanna play? You wanna play? Oh my gosh. I'm sure you guys are gonna have a really good home. Hi, baby. Look at that face. Hey, I'm sorry to wake you up, buddy. You are so, so cute. Oh, look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. Those are Frenchies right there. They're so cute. He is so cute. Look at that little tail. Did you see you get home and then they start fighting your furniture? Yes. That's your dog. He'll head right out. No. Nope. <laughs> this is going to be a big dog. Look at where it is. We had a little bit of time to kill, so decided to stop by and play with some puppies. I asked how much the corgi was, the little corgi that was in there, a little cute one, and he was $3,200. And then I asked how much the English Bulldog was. Let me know here in the comments how much you think an English Bulldog costs as a puppy. How much you think? How much would have you guessed? Because you already know. 3000 I said 3000 Three, I mean, $7,000. Seven thousand dollars. Yeah, that's wow. And if you don't, if you know about them, they have a hard time breathing, so they they like do that a lot, yeah. and then they get like mucus stuck up in their like snout. So when they shake, it like go ugh. Look how wrinkly he looks. And he couldn't breathe. Mucus would go. Oh, it was so, <laughs> that's so not fun. Dog dog. Really seen. Oh, that one. He was so cute. That yeah, dog, yeah, the yeah. Irish Terrier. Yeah, I've never one. seen one. That's the one we you played with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's cute when he's bigger. Look how cute. He's got that long snout. That falls in love with that dog is gonna probably end up paying $7,000. I would never pay $7,000. In fact, I mean, even three, you know, you know how many dogs you can rescue with that amount of money? But think about, we should go to a dog rescue oh, again. Yeah, it's kind of sad because there's a lot of those. In fact, the dog that we got for Ariana was a rescue from a puppy place like this. I guess it was one of those dogs that had been in the puppy, like a puppy store like this for, I don't know, maybe a year. They probably wanted like $3,000 for her. And then she ended up at a, the SPCA. It was in Virginia, Virginia really Beach. She's a great dog. And guess how much we paid for her, which 
It was really just, it's more of a donation than anything covers her shots, her getting spayed, but it was like $200. And we rescued her, which was a very good $200 if you ask me. Cookie, same thing, I think I- Yeah, Monty, I rescued her. You I rescued Monty, yep. Yeah. I paid, I think, $150 mm -hmm. for Cookie. Cookie's been with us for 14 years, long time. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody here in the comments that has one of those dogs as like a full grown dog and they're like oh my gosh like maybe a frenchie my dad has a a, a frenchie but yeah they're he's not a frenchie yeah he is or no a boston terrier wait frenchies are smaller no it's not oh so check this out i'm glad melissa pointed that so somebody a big shot of them that's parrot 911 parrot alert they posted this picture and it's about an hour north of where i live i got excited because i've never seen a lime green parrot like mine that I used to have. If you didn't know, I had a Quaker parrot that flew away and Jupiter ended up almost flying away. They, op I don't know how, but their cage got open one day when I had them outside just hanging around and my bird flew away. And that was about a year ago. But anyways, this this lady, big shout out to her, 911 Parrot Rescue, posted that picture and I posted some pictures back to her. I'm like, hey, look, I think that might be my bird. And I sent in like some of the pictures of my bird. And of course, what really like made the difference is Ava had this little ring around her right foot. And I guess that one didn't. So that's how we were. And plus that one is more of a baby. You could kind of tell a little bit, but I got excited. I thought, <laughs> I thought I found my bird. I miss <laughs> Ava, bless you. Can I have a napkin? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fam, so something really cool just happened right now. Malia tells me that there's a snake on our porch, and I look down there, and I find this little guy. It's a corn snake. Look at that. I don't know if this was someone's pet, or maybe it, it is a wild corn snake, but I picked him up. I mean, he was a little scared at first, but they're very friendly snakes, these guys right here. Not venomous or anything like Boston. Actually, if you're looking for a great first snake pet, these guys are great, as well as like the ball pythons. These don't get as big as the ball pythons, but still, great snakes to have, very friendly. Um, non-venomous snakes. Also like some of the king snakes are real friendly too, like a California king snake. That's one of my favorites. Oh, he likes me. He's still a little skittish. Hi, buddy. He was like wagging his tail a little bit. Oh. Don't be scared of him, just, you just gotta pick him up. I think pick he is, up. I think he is a wild snake. He's not gonna bite you. No, come on, look, I'll show you, here. Up. Trust me, look, I'll put him on you. No, no. Look, he's not he's not gonna hurt you. I look, I promise you. Promise you. These snakes, I I've had these as pets. Come here. They're friendly. Look. Let them curl up on you like this. I bet you'll like them. Why are you running away? It's gonna be our pet. Because he'll get eaten out here. That's probably what why he was hiding over there. He was just trying to find refuge. It's staring at me, I feel like Dude, it's a it's a baby snake. If I had to guess, this guy is definitely, I don't know, maybe six months old or so, maybe, maybe a little bit less. And he might have just shed. He is so cool looking. Where are you going? Come on, look, don't be scared. Well, I bet you Malia hold him. Look, look how friendly he is. I picked him up like right away and he went right to me. Somebody's probably gonna message me like on a video, be like, you were holding a highly venomous snake. No, th this ain't venomous. I promise you, I've had these as pets before. He's not gonna bite you. See? No, just awesome. Make sure the dog doesn't get him. What? Look. what? Awesome. I just don't to drop him. Snake pets. I know, but that touched my. Yeah. It touched my, my neck and I got a spear of spiders. I mean, snakes. It's not a spoiler. He's yeah. cool. He's got my leash. Here, just He's holding him. the dog. He wants to take the dog for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> These will eat like the little baby mice. The. The pinkies. You can probably get them frozen. Ooh, he feels cool. Oh yeah, he knows I'm warm. He's like clenching around me and stuff. When they're scared, they'll put this like a uh, like milk that'll come out of their their pee hole. Oh! <laughs> oh, I thought that was his head. No, yeah, it's his tail. It's not gonna bite you, man. That Look. Scared me. Look, we we need to get him used to being held. He's never. I don't <laughs> think he's ever been held by a human. Don't be scared. Don't drop him, please. <laughs> he's not gonna hurt you. He's not gonna hurt you. Don't drop him. Just hold him. Let him wrap around you and be comfortable. There you go. <laughs> you can bring him to school with you. Heck no. Show the teacher. We'll have to get him a mask though. He's not even hurting you. I forgot to tell you. 
those bite really hard. What? Yeah. And oh, and he's that? he's in bite mode right now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Very look. I'm gonna put my hand right by his head. See. He's not even biting me. See that? You can let go of him if you want. Hey, buddy. Look how cool. Yeah, he won't get very big either. He'll probably get maybe another foot longer. No, I'm getting He's used to him. got to be like maybe two feet long right now. I'm getting used to him. Not even. Him. Maybe one, Wait, he maybe has one and like, a half foot. He has something in him. Probably ate a lizard or something. No, look. Right there. On his neck. No. The right thing, right there. Oh, right there. that's probably some of his, uh, when he sh when they shed. Oh. Because he probably just shed. He's really smooth right now. This is so cool. I found him, like, right in the front of the house. Here. Oh! Careful. <laughs> Here, at least I got it all. Wait, did I? Yeah. Wait, no. Yeah, he's really friendly. This is so cool, finding a red rat snake. Actually, that's the, another name for them. Red rat snake or corn snake. I've had these before and they're so friendly. Being that this guy is kind of a, a little, you know, he's still kind of a baby. You know, we can, we can kind of tame him. I almost feel bad taking him from the wild though, but I've never seen one here where I live, which is kind of a treat. I don't know, maybe I'll keep him for a few days and let them back into the wild. Yeah, but these guys, they eat little critters. That's why they're called rat snakes too. They eat mice and rats, things like that, maybe lizards. More than likely when they get older is when they eat the, the you know, the bigger rodents. Right now, he's probably eating like large bugs, probably other small reptiles, maybe little snakes, baby mice, things like that, like the little pinkies. I mean, he's been surviving. Lizards, has to be eating a ton of lizards. You want a lizard? You want a little lizard? You want to catch him a lizard? We should catch him a lizard. They like hanging around over here. Luna's always trying to catch lizards. Yes. Oh, you see a lizard? Yep, they're too. Yeah, more than likely that's what he's eating. Well, you found another snake? Yep. Where? Right under here. He's hiding? Hmm? You clickbaiter. No, I'm not lying. Look, what? Is that a baby? Yes, it's a baby baby. It's probably a black racer. But black racers have like a little pattern on their babies. I swear, I just seen a black snake. Here. Anyone under the mulch? I don't want to step on them. There it is, there it is. Where? Right there. Right here. See, right, it's moving. Right under here. Wait, what kind of snake is that? It's a black with orange on its neck. Okay. There it is. Wait, nope. Those stay little. I don't think that's a black racer. I forgot what those are called. That's cool. Oh, I see another wizard. It's around here. Yeah, this is what our corn snake be eating. Those guys right there. Perfect size easy to catch well not really that easy you got to be definitely fast we have a small problem right now no it's your big problem i know that i didn't end my video last night and there was a reason why and it was because of this problem that i'm having right now so last night i was busy doing some edits and the lizard's gone too. oh I my god the freaking lizard's gone too yes yeah, he had a lizard friend in here, but I, I put him in here, put some water in there for him. I put this little thing right here, and you know, because snakes love to hide under things, but he escaped. We have a snake running loose in our house. If I had to guess, I know you said you already looked, but he's definitely under that couch. I Yes. I refuse to find a snake and be startled by it. Let's go look. I've been looking everywhere. I mean, there's not very many places he can go. I mean, he could have. Oh, look, I see a, a Nerf bullet. <laughs> oh, there it is. Get his toes off. We're gonna need to take this guy apart. First, we're just gonna check underneath these pillows. But, pretty sure he's underneath. More Nerf bullets. More? Look at that. You and Max are no longer allowed to have Nerf fights inside the house. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm scared. Another Nerf bullet. Oh look, Luna's toys. There you go, Luna. <laughs> what 
is all that? Oh my God, it's so dirty, it's under, so there. dirty under there. Hold on, leave that up. I'm gonna go get the vacuum. What if he's underneath this one? Oh my God. City Aria. <gasps> Weird. More Nerf bullets. More? Well, he probably found a little hole somewhere in the couch. I'm gonna fight you. He'll come up. Hopefully not in our bird cage. He's not gonna eat the birds. He likes small things. Um, I looked up what they eat. Yeah, they, they don't eat birds. Like our birds are too big. Rodents. Rodents, yeah, small rodents. What about this couch over here? <laughs> Boston already tried to look. We don't want the dogs to find him. Cause I'm doing this. The nice thing with this couch is it doesn't have any. So we have a snake loose in our house. You know, one time I had a, a, a snake loose and it was, it was like a year. And I finally found him and he was under the water heater. I seriously want to fight you so bad right now. It's just a little snake. Okay, guys, we're going to offer a $50 reward for the... <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> here he is right here. Okay, just kidding. This is our pet fake snake. Luna's having fun with her new old toy. <laughs> what if I'm, like, doing laundry one day, and I'm, like, shifting through the clothes, and then, oh, there's a snake. Inside the laundry? Yeah possible all right fam i i was not expecting for the snake to i i was gonna get him like a nice aquarium and he disappeared it's a wild snake i said that to you all night last night we don't need a wild but snake. he's a friendly wild snake he and he alive. he loved us he was lonely in there okay so stay tuned hopefully we find the snake in the next day or so maybe he's under the refrigerator i don't know we're gonna find him gotta go for now before we leave Give me a kiss. Mm.